Hey guys, so in this video I'm going to show you how you can set up automated tasks with Localizer um, to autonomously translate any new content added to your website. So the first thing you need to do is log into your Localizer account and head over to the Phrases tab. So you can see I'm already logged in and at Phrases. Make sure you're on Untranslated Phrases. Then click the Advanced button just here on the far right of the screen. So that will bring up the Setup Automated Task button. And to set one up, you just literally pick the filters as if you were going to go ahead with a translation. So for the purposes of this demonstration, I will click the all matching. So that means that any new content added to my website will be automatically translated to my selected language. So in this case, German. If you want to be a bit more specific, you can filter by tag, filter by URL or by minimum views. So once you've, once you've set your filters up, click on set up automated task. So in here you'll see a list of options. You can pick the type of translation, human or machine, or if the phrases you've picked aren't to be translated going forward, click on ignore phrase. So for this, let's just say machine translation. You can do it for all languages or untick the box and just do it for the one you're in. So let's just say we'll do it for German. Give it a title, let's call it test, and then click the enable automation button. So your automated task is now set up. You can set up multiple automated tasks, as many as you want, in fact. Um, if you want to see what tasks you already have set up, go to menu on the top right-hand corner of the screen. Click on automated tasks. So this will bring up the list of automated tasks you've already got set up. You can see from my screen that I've got three set up. Um, you can either pause the automated tasks with the pause button, or delete individual ones using the delete translation button beside them. You can select them all and delete them all at once or delete individual ones by ticking the box beside them. Uh, that's all there is to it. So go ahead and have a go yourself. If you have any questions, uh, you can contact us via the help tab here on the top right hand corner of the screen and contact support.